Hey guys, welcome back. It's Thursday, October 20th. Uh, got the torque converter situation straightened out. Um, I called the, called the company and they offered to send me out a new one in place of the one I was having since I'd had a couple problems with it. Uh, so we appreciate that. Um, so it's on here, it's happy, it's good. Uh, we're gonna get the car up in the air and get it installed. I wanna show you this problem with the uh, apparently the flex plate and the torque converter the holes aren't exactly aligned um it's probably hard to see uh, the new converter uses 7 16 bolts versus the 3 8 that were in the old one so i think that's probably what it is i guess i'm just gonna have to drill out this flex plate just a little it's just a smidgen off but so I'm gonna drill it out, I guess. I don't want to, but here we go. A uh, quick touch up of the die grinder just on the inner part of the hole, fixed it. Um, probably just barely took off a little more than the paint. So I don't think I'm gonna use these studs, but I just was making sure everything would fit. So anyway, a little bit of grinding and it looks like we're back in business. Come on guys, get out of there. back together uh that took the converters in it and uh kind of checked fluid made sure it's all good haven't been on a ride yet so this is the maiden voyage we're getting ready to go on um so we'll see see if it did the trick Street testing went good. Um, steamed to stay cool, flashed up to around 5,000 RPM. Um, no problems, no heat. So that's about what I was hoping for on the street. Um, so it's Thursday night, everything's good. We're loaded up, ready to go to Edgewater tomorrow and see the real results. Um, see if we can achieve the other two goals.
right, so all in all, a really uh, significant improvement with across the board with this new converter. So really happy with that. Um, street manners are good, as good as they used to be. No heat, so definitely a win on that. Um, the 60 foot went from a best of 143 with the automatic in it to a 1.392. So that's a 0.038 improvement on 60. So that's a, that's a pretty good jump. Uh, there might be a little bit more in there too. I didn't uh, play with the, the two-step too much. I didn't do any really any tuning on anything yet. So eighth mile improvement went from a 6.502 to a 6.368, which is a 1.34 uh, improvement. So definitely a significant improvement there. That was one of my big goals is to get fast enough um, to run in the 650 class and have a little bit of cushion there. So 6.368, that, that's a decent amount of cushion. Um, also, mile per hour in the eighth went up quite a bit. Uh, went to uh, 108.3 versus 106.56, so 1.74 difference on that. And that's pretty That's pretty good. So I figured I'd be good to there. I really figured it'd be faster in the eighth mile. I was a little concerned in the quarter that it would maybe run out of steam or uh, maybe even hit the limiter before I was going to get through the end of the track. But I got pleasantly surprised there too. Quarter mile times went from a previous best of 10.186 down to a 10.016. So I just just by a hair missed my goal of nine seconds, but um, it's in there. If I can go point A to point B straight, it'll make it happen. So uh, that's a difference of 0 0.170, so almost two tenths, which was what we were shooting for. Uh, really close, and uh, it's it's in there. I've just got to get it out. Um, mile per hour in the quarter, surprisingly, also went up. 135.34 is the new one. Uh, previously, the best was 133.85, so an improvement of almost one and a half mile an hour in the quarter. So. All across the board, everything is better with this new one. So I am happy about that. Um, couldn't really ask. I, I don't think you could get it much closer than it is because uh, you're going to give up something. I think I think if it were any looser, I would lose it on the top end um, or potentially just kind of blow through it. So I'm really happy with all the results uh, as far as performance. Uh, should get me right where I want to be for the 650 class. and. We're, we're knocking on the nine second door. So we'll be there soon. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned. We're going to get in the nines. Hopefully, we're going to do it at the end of this year. We've got a few more weeks left uh, to pull it off. So uh, stick with us. Thanks for watching. If this is interesting, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.